Okay, welcome to one half of Jen and Leon travel. Jen is still feeling a little bit unwell, so she's in the room in our Dreamyard hostel here in Udaipur. This uh, city has so much history, over 500 years of history, once the capital of Mehar, I think. Um, often referred to as the city of lakes, there's um, uh, a lake, just literally a body of water right over there. And we can see it from the hostel. Um, and this city is also renowned for its palaces, uh, temples and museums. And it's got a lot of history. And today I'm out with Jackson and Mario, who have just walked behind me. Um, and we are going to look for a barber's. I need to get my ears lowered. As you can see, he's getting a little bit scraggly on the side. So we're going to see if we can find a barber. Uh, and as we go, I will take you through and show you a little bit of Udaipur. So let's see what Jackson's doing. Ah, oh, so Jackson's off that way. Where's he going? <laughs> yes, guy wants to spin the He's a freehand painter. Oh, for okay. Building. Okay. <laughs> so we're already on a uh, bit of a distraction, but that's okay. We don't mind that. <laughs> Let's go and see what that's all about. Do, do you have any idea where the barber will be or are we just going to kind of... Well, a guy just said it's, it has to be here somewhere. Ah, perfect. So okay, so not too far away. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yes. We're going to watch that on the road. For sure. <laughs> So yeah, so the, the Dream Yard Hustle is just over there. Um, it's a great location. Uh, we've got lots of uh, artist, shops. artist shops, as you can see, just around the corner here. Yeah. I'm, I'm self-artist and I'm a third generation to be working in art work. Okay, okay. What's your name, sir? Yeah. My name is in Sanju Sani. Sanju Sani, so nice to meet you. My grandfather and my father, he was a very good artist, but he's not a professional to make this one. Okay. But I'm a third generation, I learned for childhood. When I'm child, you start to learn. Okay. So now we make two professions to make two sense. Oh, and, wow. and if you like to see how to make, so you can make a small video, how to we make to okay. art in a small... I'll come this and have the, a look, yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's have a look. Wow. So that is very detailed. Okay. So this is all the this miniature paintings, sir. Yeah. So yeah. miniature paintings start for yes. 17th centuries. Wow. So this yeah. artwork and this so art cool. especially make on silk fabric. And these are so very famous for Rajasthan. Mm. So these five place so holds the meaning of power for Udaipur. Elephant cow the symbol of holly for Pushkar. Elephant for good luck for Jeku. Wow. Of the artwork and her, mm, I teach nice. like her there for goodly folk. Yeah. Yeah. This is his student there. And this is for you, a small memory. I mm. make all the name. Oh, thank you. Wow, it's really cool. See, yeah. so we have all our names inside there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Very exciting. cool. Very yeah. cool. With you. Uh, all right, so. There you have it, we had a nice little tour of some of these miniature paintings here, Sanju Arts. So it's just down the road from the hostel, the hostel is just over there. So uh, check them out when you come here to Jaipur. Yeah, all right. All right. So now we're looking for some toiletries along with our barber. Uh, we're going to go down here and take a look, so we'll take you and show you around. It's really cool that, I mean, even though you have some of the buildings that aren't necessarily like maybe occupied I, don't, I guess but so beautiful I love the way you've got like the with the balconies there and the, the detailing it's really really cool ah look look what we have here we have some fire bowls okay so for those of you who don't know when I was uh, back in England I used to work for a, a reclamation business um, and I used to sell antiques these here these are uh, traditional Indian fire bowls. Um, I actually used to import these from India and sell them back in England, uh, and they were super popular. People in England would use them as fire bowls, um, not so much for barbecuing, but just to have like a family gathering or whatnot. And they're literally made out of like a single piece of steel. Um, and they're usually, some of them will have patternings um, on the side. Some of them will have rivets and divots, as you can see here. But these, I mean, you know, for example, this one here in England, that would go for about 800 pounds, 700 pounds, depending with a stand, sometimes with a tripod as well, and a skillet. 
But that's so cool. I've been in India all this time. It's the first time I've seen some uh, traditional Indian fireballs. So that's amazing. They're just sitting there. I tell you, if I could pick them up and take them to England, that, that's quite, quite a lot of money right there. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to head down in this direction. Now I've got the excitement of those fire bowls out of the way. Um, just going to head through. Jackson's just behind me. And let's see. So from what I know... Hello, boss. How are you today? You okay? Yeah. Nice to meet you. What's your name, sir? Halloween. Halloween. I'm Leon. Nice to meet you, sir. Is this your shop? Yeah. Okay, look, we've got a shop here selling lots of bags. I can smell the leather. It smells really nice. Really nice. So I don't need anything today, but... Thank you, it's lovely to meet you, sir. Thank you. All right. Maybe, yeah, maybe, sir. Okay. All right, so I think, oh, look, we've got a nice, looks like a market street here. We've got a whole heap of market stores here. I think we're going to head in this direction because we want to look for some toiletries, which we were just told are down here. But yeah, really cool. Look. Oh, that's good, look at a horse. <laughs> Mira Arts. Wow, looks very neat in there. Got some jewellery. Maybe, maybe if Jen's filling up to it, she can come out a little bit later or tomorrow because they've got some nice dresses here she might be interested in. So we can certainly check those out. There's all sorts of little trinket stores, arts and crafts. Emporium there. Fantastic, really pretty. Tuk tuks, as ever. <laughs> you can never go without a few of those. And there that you see the, the Hotel Baba Palace. Isn't that beautiful up there, eh? Oh. Okay. Hello, sir. Temple. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, huh? Ah, nice. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to carry on walking, but maybe later, okay? Thank you, though. Ah, look. Another day, another temple. Another right? day, another temple, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay, maybe we'll come by later, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. England. England and Netherlands. All right, let's get out the main junction. Yeah. It's probably the worst place to stand. So maybe we try down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like even though even though it seems a little bit hectic with the tuk-tuks and stuff, it's not what we were used to because there's no cars. It's only bikes and tuk-tuks. So I quite like the fact that it's uh, there's no vehicles coming down these streets. I think that really helps. Only the honking is still here. Yeah, the honking's here. <laughs> well, you know, that much. we're used to that by now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty. I just love the way like the carvings and designs into like stone or wood. That's a really pretty building, that one up there. The Rolla Palace. Down here? Perfect, thank you sir. <laughs> Got some limes. You need those. It's nice here, right? It actually is really nice. Do you know what? Actually, we've got fruit and veg you can buy. Yeah. I actually um, think this is probably the fav my favorite spot since we've been yeah. in India. What do yeah. you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's more touristic. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot more stores and it's a lot more concentrated, which is nice. Yeah, because in the other places there were, yeah, not even one store. Yeah, yeah, it was really hard and also hard to identify what was a store and what wasn't a store. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I couldn't really tell, you know. Yeah, you couldn't just walk in someone's house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but here it's a bit more like you've got the, the, the names on top so you can tell it's like a shop front. Yeah. And dare I say, I think it feels a little bit cleaner as well, actually. It felt me well. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was bad timing, but that's maybe the first pile we've seen. But <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's a little bit better here as well. I feel better. Yeah. And of course, 
you still find the cows. And the cows, <laughs> the road, yeah. <laughs> He's just chilling. Uh, oh, careful, Jackson. Uh, still got to watch out, watch out for uh, well, the vehicles flying out of nowhere. The thing is, I just don't know whether the barber is going to say barber shop or, or yeah. not, you know? I don't know. Maybe in Hindi. It could be, yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of place I want to walk in, these abandoned places. Oh, yeah. I like to just check them out. Urban, see uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want to go in there and check that out on the way back. Oh, the cow is doing his business. Let's, uh... <laughs> Welcome to India. <laughs> Outside the temple as well. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy, man. He jumps up now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one? Ah, here we go. Oh, okay. a... Perfect. That was a good spot for Maya. Okay. Okay, so I think we have found a salon. So this may be the place we want to come. Hello. Hi, hello. You guys open for business? You open? Cut the hair? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he's good? Okay, thank you. Okay. Who wants to go first? <laughs> I'll probably take longer than you though, to be fair. Hello, sir. Is it okay if I'm filming? Is it okay? Hello. Okay. Just give me one second to get everything set up and I'll be back to you. Okay, so Jackson's the, uh, the guinea pig. So, <laughs> he's getting a nice massage. <laughs> I have to say, I'm looking forward to that part. I have to say. Oh, look, he's getting a nice scratch. <laughs> very nice. Looks very relaxed. I have to say, I mean, the guy, he didn't really ask uh, anything. So he didn't ask about how he wanted the, the hair to be or anything like that. Um, just went straight into it. So I have some screenshots. So uh, a little bit of a tip there is just take some shots when you get a good haircut so that you can always show the next barber how you want it to be. So um, and we are here, we're at the Banshee, the Banshee Salon there. Um, and that's where I'll be going uh, very shortly. Like uh, more like natural. Okay, okay. Natural. I'm going to show you pictures. Monkey. <laughs> Monkey? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this one? No bit, no bit. Can you see this one? This one, same thing. Yeah, plain, plain, plain. Okay. And the top, only little. Little? Oh, that's another one there. And this one, because I need to, no, no cut here. No. Okay? Are you nervous? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I trust him. He did a good job with Jackson, so I trust him. I think it's going to be just fine. And if it isn't, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> just go bold. <laughs> It is very hot in here though. Monkey and monkey man. Yeah. Uh, sorry guys, I will take over the vlog for one minute because you want to see this. There's like 50 monkeys here, but big ones. It's a black face monkey. And on the rooftop, in the top, you can see them as well. Uh, this is all on the roof. Well, Leon. <laughs> now, a lot of monkeys there. <laughs> oh, is there really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So when was the last time you went to the hairdresser? Uh, the last time was in Philippines, actually. So it would have been maybe four weeks, maybe four weeks ago. Yeah. 
You have like very thick hair. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's the, the Greek in me. Yeah. <laughs> the Mediterranean. So what are you doing? It's interesting because usually you'd use the electric razor <laughs> on the side, you know? <laughs> 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 Had to get the lights on for mine because it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> more complicated. Huh? <laughs> it's hard, right? It's very hard. Yeah, yeah. I have to say that. Yeah. Only for us foreigners though. The heat yeah. is only for us, <laughs> <laughs> not for the locals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have uh, a lot of food. We, we put your barber shop on YouTube. <laughs> Do you have many many tourists come here? Like, you have many? <laughs> ah, it's good. Hopefully, maybe some more now. <laughs> I see, a, I see a Google Pay sticker up there. Maybe they have a Google Pay. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah, I see. Or maybe they just have a sticker. Oh, maybe just a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Looking nicely. Um. Is it a bit better? <laughs> Did you get the, the massage? Oh. Yeah, I don't know if I get the massage. I don't think it's wrong. Okay, that's good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Oh, now I get this. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Especially when you have a lot of hair, this feels really good. <laughs> good head scratch. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Probably the way of cutting my hair as well. I see my hair flying out when he's doing that as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get a special treatment. <laughs> wow. Oh. I tell you, if you've got a headache, just come to the barber shop <laughs> and you'll be fine just after. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> That's an experience. <laughs> I don't get that in England, I tell you. <laughs> Alright, now I feel fresher. Got a nice trim. Oh, perfect, thank you, sir. Okay, yeah, good. Very good, thank you. Okay. Five <laughs> hundred. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. That was very nice. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Lotus Pharmacy here, and we've got some really good supplies. So I highly recommend coming here if you just need some emergency toiletries. 
travel size as well. So we've got some shampoo, we've got some body wash. We have some toothpaste, baby wipes, which are really helpful if you don't have toilet paper. So I definitely recommend those. And for me, an absolute lifesaver. Some antihistamine, some allergy tablets. So that's really helpful. This all came to 1,128 rupees, which I think is a great price. Roughly about 11 British pounds. And you have been really helpful. So thank you very much. So please come and see this guy if you need any emergency supplies. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. Namaste from right. Hello, namaste. Namaste. <laughs> okay. Hello. 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 Namaste. Hi. 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 Hello. <laughs> All right. So we're now aiming to beat the weather. Started to rain. Uh, to be honest, though, I really don't mind. Cause it's quite refreshing, huh? So it doesn't really bother me too much when it's raining. In all fairness. But, uh, yeah, so I think we've got to go up here because there was the main temple there and then uh, I think it's like a little alleyway just up here. Do you remember we came out and went left and we've basically just gone straight, so... Yeah, yeah, there, this is it. Alright, so we're just going to head up just past this main temple here, just up there and then over to the right, that's it. Hello. The main temple just up there. We're not going to go there today. It was tempting, but we're going to try and do that tomorrow. Now we're just going to head back. We've just picked up a few supplies for, for the hotel. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hello, sir. Ah, this, I think we're going to go this way. So we're going to go up here. Jackson and Mario are just going inside the stores there. I'm gonna stand underneath here. I wanna say hello to this little doggy. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> hello. You look nice and clean. You look very cozy and comfortable. <laughs> very cute. All right, let's see what they're up to. But that was cool. I mean, I have to be honest with you. Um, I, would I say that I'm like happy with the haircut uh, overall? I, I would say that I'm grateful to have found somewhere. Um, I think it was a bit tricky. I think the, in terms of, again, the language barrier, I did show some photos. It didn't really kind of pan out for me that way. Um, and obviously, you know, for us in Western, uh, from more Western environments, um, you know, we're very much used to a different type of service, you know, like, uh, Usually they would use the razor on the side, um, usually really tidy up the sides quite nicely. They can do fades, you know, and we'll, we'll you know, blow dry at the end to get rid of all the hair. I've got like tons of hair in my ears and stuff. Um, so obviously I don't expect that. Uh, but however, um, like I say, I think for 500 rupee um, and for what I've got at the end of it, um, yeah, I mean, I, I would say it's like a, you know, like a three out of five, but, but that's okay, um, and I respect it, and I'm really happy to, and grateful that I have had a haircut, so now I'm a little bit fresher for our next leg of travels, so I think I'm going to leave it there.